ಸೇ ಹೆಲೋ ಹೈ ಆರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಟು ಕೆನಾ ಟೆಕ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಅದು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಪುಟ್ ದ ಸೆಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಜಿ ಮೀಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಲೆವೆಂತ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ದ ಇ ಪಿ ಐ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಿ ಎರ್ ಎ ಟೋಕನ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಜಿ ಮೀಟರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಅಥೆಂಟಿಕೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಟೋಕನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಎ ಪಿ ಐಸ್ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟ್ uh because uh, the problem was earlier like uh, whenever you are going to run any of the jmeter script for the api right so every time you need to change the bral token and which for according to the application to application some of the token is valid for 10 minutes some is valid for 24 hour so through the jmeter we can just automate that script also and uh, the script will pick automatically the token values through there so that we are going to discuss so before i will start the session uh, if anyone not subscribe the channel please subscribe the uh, channel and share the videos to your friend and colleague and also you can just uh, put me in the comment uh, if any modification any further uh, things you want on the uh, next videos <coughs> okay so uh, first we need to uh, discuss about how can we create the token so uh, first we need to uh, create the token api so for the token apis uh, we need the some information like what is the server ip name and what is the path of there what the method those are the information we need to uh, uh, put on the script and also like uh, those are the parameters which is getting passed on the token generation like the user id password client id and the source so those are the things we can put inside the uh, uh, token generation uh, api and after that once you will learn you will get the access token value okay so how can we correlate that one so for example like you will get the token value like that once the defense token api will hit so here you can see the access token and that value is getting passed okay so there i just write down the regular expression and uh, for the testing purpose i just given like uh, that is the correlation is correct or not so there you can see in the response the match count is 1 and that we are going to extract so what we did first we generate uh, we uh, uh, inserted all the required fields on the token generation and after that we are going to write down the uh, regular expression for the token uh, uh, value so that the token value we given and the, that is a one occurrence so we given as the uh, only one so how can we going to use that token value on the required further apis so once your token will generate so now uh, there you are going to create the uh, api where your token is required okay so there i just given the name is like the dummy api for the http request here you need to put your server ip required method and the path and the required body okay once you will fill those information then you need to add that required header okay so in that api you need the add the two headers one is your content type uh which is the application slash json and the second is the authorization which is the bearer and after that that token value okay so and the token value you are going to extract from the that access token request okay so that the way we need to develop the script to uh, generate our uh, uh, token script and after that what are the required apis is there to proceed for your uh, uh, testing okay so that was the things which i just want to discuss with you and if suppose you want to do modification like if if any of the scenario you are going to run the script for 50 user 20 user but you don't want to run the uh, like token generation every time so there is a one control is only one controller which you can use and then you can go ahead so i will show you the some demo like how the only one controller is going to use in your jmeter script okay so uh, thanks to all to watch my videos and uh, if anyone have any doubt here any uh, further modification you can just comment in the comment box okay thank you so much thanks to all